Hi, you're watching this Wish channel. Uh, thank you for joining us. I'm Adriana Baranek, CEO of Miadra Group, and here with me is Madam Baranek, our CGO. Hi. So ever since the situation with COVID-19 became what it is today, uh, we have been social distancing. We are husband and wife, so this is the reason why we are not social distancing and sitting so close together, which we do not recommend to you, because COVID-19 is not like a flu. As we learned a few days back, uh, a woman had a ruptured heart due to COVID-19 in California recently, so it is very serious. And with this serious situation, there were many questions and many companies had to adjust to working from home and to redefining uh, even what they are doing and how they are handling their uh, work tasks and how they are even going to have a going concern from now on forward. Things will definitely change and this is not the first time that humanity has gone through uh, a big uh, pandemic uh, ever since uh, humanity existed. There were many diseases, many viruses that threatened our very existence, but we adapted. So we will adapt again. Uh, but uh, the role of technology in uh, helping to achieve that is even m more uh, important than ever. Uh, here with us is also our uh, Irish soft coated wheat interior blondie. And uh, if uh, you hear barking, that's her. We also have a cat. Uh, just to remind you if uh, something uh, strange starts happening. So, um, Madden, today we would like to cover two topics that are very important for this situation for companies. Um, uh, one is uh, the risks uh, related to staffing and the risks related to a uh, possibility that your workforce will be unhappy, that uh, it will not be able to pro perform as before. And the second big risk that we see is the availability of uh, uh, IT, the availability of services uh, that uh, companies need to perform and to go forward. Uh, can you tell us uh, a little bit more on those two topics? So. As Adriana said, uh, many companies uh, faced mandatory building closures and uh, essential workers uh, had to do additional shifts. There were a lot of uh, uh, changes and uh, unpredictable uh, situations popping up. So uh workforce management and communication with employees uh, it's uh, kind of crucial so companies that are using uh, public cloud services like uh, office 365 or g suite have uh, a lot of tools that can uh, help them uh, organize uh, during this uh, mandatory uh, office building closures and uh, others are mainly trying to use uh, WhatsApp or some other shared IT services uh, mobile phones somehow to keep communication with their uh, employees so w one of uh, um, issues that can be addressed if you are using uh, public cloud is uh, education and it is very important to uh, provide for, for uh, most employees clear communication and uh, uh, to, to provide education how things will work in next uh, months and uh, how you can actually do a shift scheduling how you can uh, uh, mitigate uh, some uh, outbreaks and uh, uh, try to uh, separate uh, uh, your workforce in groups so that you can keep uh, most important processes running even if there is some outbreak uh, going on within uh, one group that uh, other groups can can continue. So fr from that perspective, uh, it is uh, very, uh, uh, very important to uh, uh, prepare work for from home uh, practices to give uh, uh, dry runs or uh, 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 
one day uh, education of your uh, workforce in a way that, that they can uh, um, test their skills and abilities to participate in video conferences, to connect and uh, to uh, uh, work from home uh, efficiently. Uh, for uh, essential workers that have to be uh, that, that, that uh, have to go to work uh, it is very important that you can communicate uh, work hours and uh, changes um, in advance in a clear way so th there are a lot of situations where, where there are no uh, established systems how to do that and companies are using uh, phones or s some shared of IT but we would definitely recommend that there is a clear uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, workforce management system or HR uh, system th that can rely on public cloud where people can actually plan uh, shifts and working hours of employees in groups mm -hmm. and uh, th where you can relocate some mm -hmm. uh, some employees to uh, critical uh, positions without uh, friction and without uh, uh, miscommunication that usually happens if you are using just uh, 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 voice calls or emails to to do scheduling. Mm -hmm. So that that is regarding uh, lyrics to staffing, uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, staffing. and um, ma many companies are still running uh, on prem. So some have uh, hybrid solutions, but uh, only few are really uh, uh, reliant on uh, only on cloud. So for those who have a lot of on-prem systems that are crucial mm -hmm. for operation, it is very important to have disaster recovery uh, ready. And uh, now it's really good time to do disaster recovery to public cloud or mm -hmm. even to migrate. Uh, IT services to public cloud. Of course, th there might be some unexpected peaks in demand for uh, IT services uh, within the company. So uh, that additional elasticity that can be provided by a public cloud can come very handy. It is also very important to have a clear bring your own device policy. Mm -hmm. Since many uh, many uh, uh, employees will not be able to move their desktops uh, with them, and uh, even if they have uh, notebooks or uh, if if they are using uh, their own uh, their own devices, there will be some challenges providing remote uh, support. Obviously, this hardware maintenance uh, will be out of question, and uh, there will be a lot of issues with uh, applications, authorizations, and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So, uh, keeping in mind that we, we see an uh, increased number of uh, security incidents, mm -hmm. it is also very important to uh, uh, adhere to uh, best security practices, so to, to introduce uh, multi-factor authentication for uh, working f uh, from home mm -hmm. uh, employees and to uh, provide clear bring your own device policies and remuneration mm -hmm. for for employees who are using their own devices. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, yeah. For instance, a lot of companies now uh, had a big shopping spree before they sent their workers to work from home, and they got them laptops. But in fact, uh, if, for instance, you give your employees Cisco Meraki that enables them to uh, connect to the cloud uh, and have the networking um, uh, cent uh, centralized uh, uh, within the company, then uh, it's an even better idea. And uh, basically, you really have to be innovative. You really have to mm. think outside of the box and find the solutions that will work for you. Here in our part we have a clock uh, with uh, uh, one uh, piece of wisdom from Nikola Tesla who was born in Croatia uh, 
uh, he said that uh, humans are born to work, to suffer, and to fight, and who does not do like that will uh, perish. And uh, that is one truth that you have to be aware of. We are uh, in a very serious situation now, and uh, uh, saying that democracy is more important than COVID-19 and stuff like that is very responsible. You have to take care of your business. Maybe you will have to completely redesign what you're doing with your business and what your business is in the end. But uh, taking care of uh, your employees, taking care of uh, being able to perform your tasks uh, with IT services that are available is one of the crucial aspects of um, handling the situation now. Um, would you say, Mladen, that uh, we have to be prepared from now on for any kind of uh, natural disaster, just to make it clear? So, for instance, when there was a situation in Fukushima a few years back in Japan with a nuclear disaster, um, lots of companies did move to the public cloud at that point. And uh, do we now have to be prepared from now on and be aware that something might happen and that something might uh, destroy our way of life as we knew it and uh, there is a hope yeah so with natural disasters like earthquakes um, mm -hmm. in in fukushima or now with the pandemic uh, there is a, a clear shift uh, towards uh, public cloud and uh, the requirements are changing so instead of um, you know, uh, optimizing commute uh, and trying mm -hmm. to optimize uh, office buildings obviously in next and in next few years we will have to learn how to optimize work from home mm -hmm. so instead of open space architectures yeah. th there will be a more uh, 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 more trends toward uh, work from home with mm -hmm. uh, uh, security practices that enable uh, remote management and security for dislocated uh, employees as, uh, as Adriana mentioned for, for example uh, Cisco has a lot of security tools like umbrella mm -hmm. product or yeah. Uh, where you can uh, provide protection not within intranet but on the internet as well mm -hmm. uh, to your employees devices even if they bring your own device uh, types uh, by monitoring uh, through agents and through their DNS uh, uh, traffic of whether there are some activities that uh, suspicious and uh, whether there are some security risks that you can uh, mm -hmm. mitigate with this uh, umbrella kind of thing mm -hmm. so su such uh, changes uh, and shift of focus from uh, office buildings and uh, commute to uh, uh, work from home optimization is uh, where public cloud offering can really help mm -hmm. And there are a lot of innovative uh, applications and approaches where we can all benefit from mm -hmm. uh, this new work from home reality. Yeah, and I must say we are really enjoying our work from home routine because uh, we managed to find um, time when we work and that is basically when we would normally be um, at the office and the rest of the time we're just relaxing and that is working great and um, for instance new ways of thinking might go in the uh, direction where employers would be obligated to buy certain amount of uh, apartment uh, space uh, for their employees and then you know just like uh, uh, in normal office to take care that their employees have a proper furniture 
So uh, we will see lots of businesses adapting to that. It will change, definitely. Uh, the tools that companies are using, uh, the way in which we work will, will definitely change. But I'm finding that we are more efficient and more productive working from home than, than we are, in fact, in the office. We do not lose time to commute. We do not lose time to uh, just uh, uh, do some uh, things that are not work related, but related to your commute to the work and uh, uh, we will see more of that in the very near future so we have already seen a big uptake in the need for the public cloud services even with companies that did not consider it before and uh, we are very much looking forward um, and very are very proud that we have our own little office in our living room now uh, and we will see you very soon we will definitely continue developing we are um, uh, we have big plans for this year and uh, we will be making more videos soon uh, um, have a nice day and uh, hoping to see see you soon watching our channel yeah Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye.